Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Let's talk today about the Hike Vision camera IP address change, all right? As you can see, I have my camera working via web browser. And if I want to change the IP, it's very, very easy, very simple. You just need to use a tool for that, okay? So here, as you can see, I have the local IP address for this camera in a web browser. And I'm using the same IP range of my computer. Okay, so for me here is 192.168.0.225. That's the IP of the camera. And my computer is using the same range 192.168.0. something. Okay. So you can use this tool, the SADP tool, to locate your camera in the network. It doesn't matter the IP that the camera has. In this case, for example, the camera is in the same range of my computer. It must be in the same range so you can have access to the camera. But at first, the camera comes with a different IP. So here with the, the two, you can select the camera and come here. For example, I'm just disabling DHCP right now. So I can insert here an IP manually, right? Let's say the camera has this IP, which is different from my network range, 192.168.1.64. I'm going to put my password here so it can apply to the camera. Here we go. It modifies the parameter. Now the camera has this IP, 164. And let me just refresh here. So you can see the IP range is this one now. Okay. The problem now is that I no longer can have access to the camera. Why? Because the camera. Now let me just refresh here to see if I can have access to the camera. The camera now is using a different IP. So it's trying to have access to the camera right now via browser, but it's no longer working, okay? As you can see, the site can't be reached, of course, because I have a different IP now for this camera. When I try, for example, use here the new IP, of course, that is not gonna work because my computer is in a different range, IP range. So I have to change the camera to use the same IP range as my computer, okay? And the only way that I can do that, I don't have access directly to the camera via web browser right now. I have to change my computer's IP address or I can use this tool. With this tool, with the SADP, doesn't matter the IP that a camera has, you can change it as long as you have the password for your camera, of course, okay? So here, I enabling the DHCP again, or you can manually change here. If you want to change to another IP address, let's say zero dot something else here, 064, for example, you can do that. As long as you have the same IP range of your computer, you're good to go. But what I'm doing here is just enabling the DHCP, the dynamic host configuration protocol. So the camera can get an IP from my router. If you have your router in the network, the router can do that for you. But if you don't, you just can have an IP manually assigned to your camera. In this case, I'm going to bring here uh, the DHCP and just put the password here again. You see the software is trying to connect to the camera. It's not working. I have a high vision software here because the IP was changed, right? I'll just click here on modify. I got a timeout here. Let me try again. So basically, I'm trying to enable the ATP for this camera. Let me just try one more time. Here we go. Parameters modification uh, was correct. So now let me just refresh again here. And now I have the IP uh, that I was using before. Let me just type it here again. My case is 0 to 225, and here we go, back working. So I can log into my high vision camera and have access to the image again, okay? So it's pretty simple. That's the way you can change an IP camera. Uh, sorry, that's the way you can change your IP on a high vision camera, okay? So guys, that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.